you gotta be some type of stupid, really, to wake up every day in the world and not pay attention to the fact that people are thriving, prospering because they choose. You have to really be dumb, like honestly, to not wake up and forget about comparison. I need you to start to focus on the contrast out here. Ain't nothing to be compared when the contrast is so drastic. Why why your world is yours. I don't operate on comparisons. I don't operate even on competition. Literally, we're all here at this phase of evolution and human consciousness and human civilization where ain't no fight for food, ain't no fight for water, ain't no fight for shelter. I'm in LA, for example, right? Let me put this gum out on camera. I'm in LA, for example, right? And there's a severe homeless problem out this motherfucker. Like, real shit. But my first 30 minutes in here is like, you it's not a housing crisis. There's plenty of open rooms and open shelters and available spaces for people to occupy and habitate, right? That's a fact. It's a mindset issue. It's a mental health concern. Why do you why your world is yours? Even if you gave the most destitute individual who's out here actually just unaware, this is what it is, it's a, it's a mindset issue. If you gave all of these individuals the most beautiful home, a gym membership, some hygiene products to take a shower and groom themselves daily, like I said, gym membership, shelter, food, water, you know what I'm saying, and some hygiene products, do you think that they would actually use that to create themselves into an individual who is servable to the, to the economy, servable to the masses, servable to their people? No, because at the end of the day right now, most people are walking around on EBT, on some type of government collected check. You know what I'm saying? You could get the housing. So it's not a housing issue. It's not none of that. I want to say all of that to say it's a mindset issue, you dig? Why do you why your world is yours? Ain't no comparison. I need you to start to wake up. Choosing to prosper is the prosperous decision. Choosing to not prosper is a very poor decision. Now, you have to wake up. I don't understand how people wake up every day and don't realize that they're ineffectively living, right? So you've been waking up every day since you were born for how many minutes, how many hours, how many days, how many months, how many years, and you still haven't figured out that there's a way to live life that is most effective and conducive to the comfort that you actually seek. But that comes by actually building yourself up to that next level. Whatever you want, your world is yours. I cannot stand for the massive delusion at this point, right? And like I said, everybody can win. So we just went through the whole mindset thing about the homeless situation and the competition. Like we at the point in human consciousness, in human evolution, at the standpoint of whatever date in the universe it is. It's approximately 13.8 billion point XYZ years old. Like real, real talk. We're that old now. You feel me? We figured it out. Food is not an issue. Shelter is not an issue. Hydration is not an issue. Shelter is not an issue. Clothing is not an issue. Hygiene is not an issue. Mindset is a fucking issue. Whatever you why your world is yours. The availability of resources are all around you. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, those who choose to just want a handout, those who choose to want the work done for them, those who choose to not want to be valuable, those who choose to not want to serve anybody are those who are going to be in the most poorly conditions. The only way to not make money is to not be valuable to other people. The other way to say that, the only way to make money is to be valuable to other people. And I'm at the point where even phrasing it as making money is very detrimental to the perception of what we're actually trying to get done. Whatever you want, your world is yours. We don't make money, we earn money. So once you put the idea of the only way to earn money is to help somebody by earning it, by working, right? Then you realize how many people are just unwilling to earn. Earning is the fucking key. Whatever you want, your world is yours. I'm a really good thinker. I'm literally probably one of the greatest thinkers of our time. Um, just unpublicized on, on a certain level, but it is what it is. I don't need to be publicized. Like a diamond is a diamond before you even find it, right? Gold is gold before you even find it, right? So I already know my value, you feel me? I'm just not widely publicized yet. I'm one of the greatest thinkers in existence, you feel me? My thing is, 
if that's going to be my function, I need to be able to help you think through these things. But you need to be able to be receptive to the changing of your mind. Whatever you why your world is yours. Everybody always asks me, what changed? What changed? Like, what did you do to change? Literally, I changed my mind. That's why I say it's always mindset. Once you change your mind, your paradigm changes. Everything originates in your mind. Whatever you why your world is yours. We got a new book on the way. I really hope that y'all go out there and read that. And not only read that, fully comprehend that. Because that's going to be the key to your next level level up. Believing, manifesting, understanding how your mind works, understanding how your mind shapes reality, understanding how your mind creates your paradigm, understanding how you can control your thoughts. But if you got thoughts thinking that somebody owes you some shit, it's over. If you got thoughts thinking that you're a victim other than your victim of your own ignorance, it's slow for your life. You know what I'm saying? You have to take back all your power and realize no matter what happened, somewhere, some degree, you allowed it to happen. Take ultimate infinite responsibility and now start making more informed, enlightened, intelligent decisions as to how you're going to prevent yourself from losing and also get yourself to advance, right? Like I said, it isn't. we don't live in a world where everybody can't win. In fact, I say your world is yours so much that y'all forget that I'm not even focused on me. I'm focused on you because I've mastered myself. Whatever you why your world is yours, even this level of things, you know, it's like I've created this individual that is self-dependent, independent, self-trusting, self able, self-capable at a high degree. I know how to be more with less. I've mastered that. You feel me? And I'm continuing the mastering of that because there's more levels to attain. But one thing I'm going to say is that personal finance is the last pillar of personal development. A lot of people in this world will choose to make money, right? And there's a lot of dummies out there who think because they have a certain margin of money. Let's say they got 80K a year. That's not money, by the way. You feel me? But let's say they got 80K a year. They're like, oh, well, I'm, I got this and I got that. But it's like you have so many binds in your life. You have to spend time, energy, doing things you don't want to do, thinking shit you don't want to think to build somebody else's shit. Then on top of that, that's not money. Then on top of that, you're failing to build you. So there's going to come a point. It's already happening slowly, but you're not really recognizing it, that your quality of life is going to begin to decrease because you're not personally developed. Now, a person who's personally developed and gets money has infinitely increasing quality of life. A person who doesn't focus on personal development but gets money, at a certain point, their quality of life will decrease. And no matter how much money they accumulate, their quality of life will decrease. So the money is not going to have an effect on the quality of life before you become the high quality thing that, that is in your life. You have to become the high quality thing and then see what happens. Instead of wanting high quality existence and high quality this, you make yourself the high quality thing and see what the fuck happens. Whatever you are, your world is yours. The money is in other people's hands. You know what I'm saying? And what I have to do is serve as many people as are willing to change their minds, to change their lives for the better. Because at the end of the day, you suffer if you don't change your life. You end up being a fat, broke, depressed, fucking wanker. You know what I'm saying? Out here, just a fucking brokey, fake wokey. You know what I'm saying? No physical health incapable somebody run down on you fucking there's a crisis you can't even help in this you gonna be in the fucking kitchens you know what i'm saying like we can't even you can't even help defend the nation you know what i'm saying we need a we need a world of more benefactors than beneficiaries you feel me and that's the key why do you why your world is yours stop being a beneficiary like all these bums you know what i'm saying that are just really expenses. They're really just more expensive than they actually produce. You know what I'm saying? And become so productive and be more productive than you actually consume. Be more productive than you actually are an expense. You feel me? Bring more value than you than you cost to exist. You feel me? And that's how the life is going to work. So, you know, the, the subject of the matter is, you know, we could all win. Don't wake up and be a dummy every fucking day. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that's stopping you from leveling up is being able to actually get get advice, take advice and change your way of thinking. Um, until you do that and you think that you're doing it right or you're so arrogantly attached to your errors and ways, then you're really the root cause of all the fuck ups in your life. Um, life could be way more easier. It's been 13.8 billion years of 
uh, universe existence, it's been about 4 billion years of Earth existence, about 200,000 years of Homo sapien existence, about 40, 20,000 years of civilization, 20,000 years of recorded history. Motherfuckers done made so many mistakes, so many people done died for no reason, and we all got the answers at this point. So if you don't go get the answers, if you don't make yourself available to right knowledge, if you don't make yourself available to the effective path of living, then really, that's your own fucking fault. Why do you why your world is yours? I'm not here to be fucking the individual that everybody fucking bows down to. La ilaha illallah. Focus on the creator. The creator is always greater. I'm always going to point you to the creator. I'm always going to point you to yourself. I'm always going to redirect you to yourself. Your world is yours. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a medium for the message. You feel me? What if you are your world is yours? Consider the vibrations raised. I love y'all always and forever. California, I'm fucking with y'all heavy. You feel me? Whatever you are, your world is yours. Shouts out to the team. I appreciate everybody. I got people out here making money they never thought they could make. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like literally there's ways to do this shit. You want to be broke and, and feel like you it and you're not. And you mad at us. For what? That's just you. That's all you. We saying come to the lit party. Come to the evolution love swag and evolution party. You feel me? Whatever you are, your world is yours. Either put the work in or just end up broke. It's really like that. Consider vibrations raised. Get on the program, dummy.